Good morning, it's the 30th of May 2016 and you join me on the opening day of my syndicate and behind these gates is the magnificent Western Park which is run by RH Fisheries and I'm lucky enough to have a ticket on this late this year. Um, the time's 9 o'clock, I'm an hour early, we're going to have a draw at 10 o'clock where I'm going to have a, an hour walking around and see if I'm going to locate some fish. So, without further ado, let's open this gate and let's get fishing. afternoon it's half past 12 uh, I've just finished the draw and I've just got round to the peg uh, I've just literally had a lead around and managed to find a clear spot just on the opposite bank um, so what I decided to do is uh, present a solid bag over there um, just in case there is a little bit of debris on the on the floor of the lake um, inside the bag is a little bit of Belichan mix, a little bit of chopped boiler and a 15mm wafter. Uh, the other two rods, uh, one's gone to my left on a choddy, and the one's gone onto the opposite bank uh, on a choddy again. Um, probably about 20 baits round each and that's, how, that's, that's the way I'm going to fish until I actually pick anything up. Um, majority of the fish this morning was down the other end of the lake. Um, unfortunately, due to the draw, I couldn't get on them. So I'm going to keep an eye on the peg. And um, I'm told the guy in the car park peg is only doing the night. So if he vacates that swim and I've had nothing here, I'll be around there and fishing that peg in the morning. Uh, until then, I'll give you a bit, little bit of an update later. I'll speak to you soon. I'm just out of breath because I've got a little bit of an update. The guy in the actual car park swim uh, is actually leaving, so I haven't asked any questions. So I'm just going to jump in there straight away. Fish are definitely down there, so. Daft not to. As you can see, I've had a mad hectic hour. Uh, I've moved swims again. Uh, the guy come out of this. Uh, this was my second my second choice. He's only done a day session, he's decided to go. Um, so he's come out and I've done Australian. Couldn't turn that opportunity up, there's just no fish showing down there at all. But here, it's a different story. 
and I've already seen about four or five fish here. So I've just put the rods out on them. Um, just getting wasn't there and they've all been centralised down into this area uh, so I think a bit of lady luck was looking down on me when this angler went I shot straight into the peg and I've probably been here about an hour already hour two hours and I've already seen multiple shows um, I've just cast out two chuddies and a solid bag um, not really put any time or effort into the swim I'll do that first thing in the morning. Uh, until then, hopefully I'll come back to you with a fish during the night or first thing in the early hours. But if not, I'll speak to you in the morning. Right, first fish. So I've done the, uh, the account on Western. Absolute lovely mirror. Fully scaled. Coming in at 24. It beat me up a little bit, I think, this one. Oh, I've got it. What a fish. The first one. I'm off the mark. Um, really, really chuffed to uh, start it off in style. Um, there's a few fish showing out there at the moment, so hopefully it'll happen again. Uh, that area, that come to an area which was had a little bit more of a low lying weed than the other areas around it. Uh, just cast a choddy on it last night. Uh, I didn't vlog last night much because I was absolutely knackered. Um, yeah, so I'll just cast out two chods a little lead around uh, found this little clear area um, put a rod on it and yeah away it went right all my stuff's everywhere like it always is when I've had a fish uh, so I'm gonna get this all cleaned up have a brew I haven't had one yet and uh, I'll speak to you later
found got wet. So uh, all for the love of carp, eh? So I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna uh, sort this fish out, get this rod back out, and see if I can fix my phone. Keep uh, spare clothes in the car, but my phone's absolutely shot because obviously when I was wading down. Uh, it just went above my chest waders and obviously my phone was in my pocket although luckily um, I can record HD video with my camera uh, otherwise this blog would be over but yeah nice nice common but uh, it, it just absolutely kited as soon as I picked it up it just kited straight round on a tight line and went straight straight for that uh, a drain. But um we're gonna gain a few liners on the rods, so I'll probably do another night. Um, um probably get off then uh, tomorrow afternoon. Um, I'll give you a little bit of an update a bit later on. It's my third fish, just come off a margin spot to my right common again just taking on a wafter with a few boilies round here so it made up with this Let's get it back. I've had three fish today, so that ain't too bad, is it? Um Nothing to report really. I've had two fish out in open water and one in the margin. Um, weather's looking good. I'm hoping for an early morning bite again. Probably try and start tomorrow as we left off today. Um, so, sun's going down now. So until tonight or first thing in the morning. I'll see you soon. Pretty busy morning to be honest, so I didn't blog it. Um, my, my, my camera still broke from yesterday, so I'm having to use my camera. So if the image is a bit uh, dodgy, that's why. Well, this morning I got up at uh, first light and I've seen a few fish showing to my left. So um, put a rod on it and it literally went straight away. Um, nice 20 pound dead on common and um, I've just had a run a couple of minutes ago on the same rod again it looks very much like a productive area so you know, yeah just sprinkling a bit of boilie over the top of it and off it's rattling had a nice quiet night um, I'm going to try and save my uh, memory on this camera uh, so I'll, I'll speak to you shortly hopefully with another fish
fifth issue of the session. Just coming to the naked shot again. Um, I haven't weighed it. But absolutely stunning. This is a Western Common. Let's get it back. Cheers, bud. Just thought I'd uh, wrap the session up. I uh, had the four, four beautiful commons, um, up to £20. And then I had that fully scaled mirror, which came in at uh, 24 I think it was, but to be honest, when they look like that, so size is irrelevant for me. Uh, yep, so I'm going to wrap this video up, get packed up. Uh, so, wet nets, tight lines, and I'll see you on my next video.